uh, just to say 60 years ago, this was a campaign that involved uh, many wonderful speeches and uh, the United Nations General Assembly speech is definitely worth celebrating. And another great speech, incidentally, is the speech that President Kennedy, the Irish Parliament, uh, in the summer during this period. And he said something that I think is stunningly beautiful and stunningly important in that speech that uh, also I want to share, very relevant for us today. Uh, when he spoke to the Irish Parliament in July 1963, he said, indeed, across the gulfs and barriers that now divide us, we must remember that there are no permanent enemies. Hostility today is a fact, but it is not a ruling law. The supreme reality of our time is our indivisibility as children of God and our common vulnerability on this planet. So that's another wondrous speech to recall. And we need to keep up the effort. And boy, we need a change of policy in this country because we are thinking that whatever isn't working, more arms, more F-16s, more escalation, that's going to do it. Of course, that brings us closer and closer to disaster. And let me say one quick word about the economics of this. The Watson Institute at Brown University has done many important studies of the costs of war since 2000, since the year 2000. And the basic estimate uh, that they provide is that the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq principally have cost the United States six trillion dollars now with another two trillion to come in future veterans costs of wounded uh, veterans from those wars eight trillion in total this is a very significant proportion of the explosion of public debt that was being debated in recent weeks, but you didn't hear Congress and the president talk about the costs of the war in this context. Indeed, what they decided to do was to cap the civilian discretionary spending, but allow for a significant increase of the military spending. That's what we face right now. We face a military industrial complex that it assures that the money for the arms race, the money for wars is protected while everything else is subject to real cuts. Thank you. Okay, Robin, you're next. 